having determined that you're going to contract a piece of work and selecting the contracting strategy, multi-contracts or DIY, whichever, whichever it is, uh, we have to agree three things. How much is this contract worth? What are the terms of payment? And what's the pricing system for this contract? Now, uh, this slide demonstrates five different pricing systems for contracts. At one extreme, a contract will be fixed price, whereas at the other extreme, a contract could be for all of the costs plus a percentage. So if I'm just going to buy something from a shop, it is a contract I'm entering into. It's a fixed price. If I want to research the next military jet, no aircraft supplier is going to agree to do that at a fixed price, especially if it has uh, unique technological innovations associated with it. They would agree to do that for a cost plus a percentage. They might say, anything we spend on this project we want back plus 10%. Uh, a variation on that would be to say, all of our costs we want back plus a fixed fee, 10 million pounds. Um, there are some other pricing systems. Um, a pricing system with a variation formula would be useful if your contract depends on uh, an exchange rate, a, a dollar pound exchange rate or a dollar euro exchange rate, or is based on the oil price, where we've got a fixed price, but we're dependent on how much the oil price changes. So different pricing systems are available. Having determined the pricing system, how's the contractor going to be paid? Is this staged payments? Is this progress payments for work that they've done? Are we going to try and put in uh, penalty clauses if they're late? Or are we going to withhold some payment until the article has been proven to be working? These are all things you have to negotiate with that contractor.